I've been coaching for about eight years as, in the juniors and i um, done the last two years as an assistant coach in the, the Bundy and head coach this year. Senior players, Jamie Small, um, Andrew Dallalano, Keith Eckenberg, uh, they've all played great. Um, and then we've got a mixture of um, kids with them. We've got, a lot of, we've got 30 odd junior teams ourselves, so most of our young kids come up through our own juniors. Um, and then they feed off to Parramatta. Um, and the ones that don't sort of make it through the 20s or not, so there's an opportunity to come back here and play some decent level of football. We just mainly just combine a bit of um, hard work and um, some enjoyment for them. Like, it's not a full-time job for them. They've all got full-time jobs outside their football, so you've got to sort of make them want to be here and um, enjoy themselves, but also put the hard work in. I was born in Camden, come from Liverpool, so my pop and that, well, my pop's from South Coast area, and Nan from about Redfern. So still a local girl, loves South Sydney. But me, just basically grew up in Liverpool my whole life. In about 2001, I moved out just a little bit to Holdsworthy, and lived there ever since. Uh, I play wing, fullback, centre, play anywhere they'll put me, basically. I'm not big enough for the forwards, though, but um, I've basically played a camera my whole life. Uh, old man brought me down here when I was, I think, under nine, brought me over from soccer and I've just basically loved this place since I started. They teach you basically football's not all physical. It's a lot of a mental game too, which I've learned from Smalley majorly because he plays 80 minutes in the front row. I've never known anyone to do that. And he just shows you how if you're mentally strong, you can play any level you want. And that's the basically thing that taught me. Preparation a lot. I think a lot of the guys don't really know how to prepare for a game and they don't realise that preparing for a game starts at training on Tuesday. Um, a lot of the guys are expected to do their own rehab, which we sort of rely on each person to do, but um, at the end of the day, all I can do is sort of try and motivate guys to sort of do the right thing. It was really disappointing after such a good year last year, making the grand final for the first time, but in saying that, we lost nine guys from the grand final side last year, so we're just we're looking to rebuild. We lost a lot of guys, like I said, but um, if we're going to sort of start looking for guys earlier this year so we can have a successful year next year.